I am Mike Hart. Here is a look at what we're following on this Wednesday. A downtown dining staples officially back open for business today. Mossman's Coffee Shop officially reopened its doors after being closed for nearly a month due to a fire. Fire crews were able to contain it, but it took a couple of weeks to clean up the water and smoke damage and get the necessary approvals from various agencies to open their doors. Mossman's has been a part of the downtown scene for more than 70 years, and they're closing in on a unique milestone of one million orders of fish and chips. The Board of Supervisors received the news that Kern County will be home to the state's first inland port. The board approved the project out in Mojave, which will support the movement of goods from the ports of L.A. and Long Beach. The 410 plus acre facility will be near the intersections of Highway 14 and 58. The port plans to operate 24 seven year round and will be located 90 miles from San Pedro. It will increase efficiency, we're told, by allowing those goods to arrive by train from other nearby ports, then send them off to their final destination. Project expected to break ground in 2023. They'll be fully operational by 2024. Take a check of that midday forecast now with Callan. Hey, good morning. On this Wednesday, we're still seeing a slight break from the extreme heat. It's still warm out there, but we're in those mid 90s today, upper 90s tomorrow. Unfortunately, the triple digits do come back through starting Friday, and we're expecting to stay in those hundreds Friday going into the weekend and next week. So we could even see another heat wave come back through Kern County. So enjoy the 90s today and tomorrow. As for our mountain communities, a little comfortable for places like Tehachapi and Fraser Park in those mid to upper 80s. Lake Isabella is staying in those 90s today through our extended forecast. So going into the weekend, 80s and 90s. Although we're seeing some small chances of rain start to pick up a really small as of right now, right? Only at 10%. We're seeing a little bit of that 10% chance going into Monday and Tuesday as well. Small right now, but we'll keep you updated if that changes as we get closer to the weekend. That's a look at what's happening right now. Don't forget for the latest news, weather and traffic anytime, anywhere you need it. Download our free mobile and tablet apps.